What is the drunken cliffhanger problem? This ha has already, we are, we are getting into Markov chain, but I just didn't present it in that way. I just presented the problem to you. Okay? So you see how we formulated this problem. It's random walk. This is a one-dimensional random walk with uh, one absorbing state. Okay? So let's see what the problem is. There was, there was, uh, there once was a drunken man, drunk man, who wandered far too close to a cliff. From where he stands, one step forward would send this guy over the edge, and he takes random steps either towards or away from the cliff. At any step, his probability of taking a step away is two-thirds. And a step towards the cliff is one-third. <coughs> Make sense? So the problem is, what is his chance to escape the cliff? So you have uh, one absorbing. What is absorbing? <laughs> absorbing, he fall off the cliff, and he got absorbed. Right? And uh, so this is the guy. He's adding here. And what's the probability to get away from the cliff? Two over three. Two thirds. So he has a higher probability. He he has some. Uh, he's a little bit conscious, okay. And the, but he's drunk, and he has one third. He cannot control himself. So one third, he will he will go this way, and two third, he will go that way. Okay. And if he goes this way, he falls off the cliff. And he might go here, and then he try to control himself to third probably he can control here, but then he cannot control himself. He come back again, and then come back again, and then fall. Okay. Now, if he keep going, keep going, keep going this way, okay, he is not absorbed. If he keep going this way, this way, this way, then eventually once he reach the cliff, he get absorbed. Now suppose he stand right here, okay. What's the probability he will get absorbed? Okay, that's one third. Okay, now that's that's what's the probability to escape the cliff? Now we are going to have the. Let's try this. There is a probability I go right, and also there is a probability to go left. So these are the steps taken. These are the distance from the cliff. Okay, if he's right here, in step step zero, he didn't take any steps. If he's right here, then probability this is one. Okay. Now, suppose what's the probability to go left? What's the probability to go right? So here, this is as we discussed, one third, right? And this is two thirds. And but the probability, if you, this is just one step probability. You one third get absorbed. If you go here, you still have a probability to get absorbed. Okay, up at at here, what's the probability you get absorbed again? Or you just fall off the cliff. So this will become. We we need to do this again. So what is this part? So now you have already taken two thirds <coughs> probability to the second. The distance is, is two steps away, right? Now, given that you are here, what's the probability you come to the left side or the right side? One yeah, one third times two thirds. So this should be two over nine, and this should be four over nine. And over here, we have a probability to get absorbed and a probability to go here. So this is still one third to the left, two third to the right. So this will be 2 over 27. This will be 4 over 27. Okay. You see, over here, if you take one step, it should get 2 thirds. <coughs> See, this is four. It's shared, right? 
is here. If, if, if you are here, this is 4 over 9. 4 9. If you take 1 third, you've got a here, right? If you've got another step, you get 2 thirds, mu multiplied by 2 thirds. And what you got is actually 8 over 27. So let's just do this derivation, OK? Now, over here, we have a probability to come here. This is 4 over 81. Over here, we have a probability to go here. This is 8 over 81, so 81. And over here, you have 16 over 81. And right here, you have 4 over 243. And uh, over here, we have 2 thirds, 2 thirds, right? <coughs> so this should be 8 over 243. The same here. 16 over 243. Over here, this is uh, 32 over 243. So these are the, if we expand the tree, it looks like this. One step. Now, how many steps does it take if the person get absorbed? Okay, can you find any like a pattern, like uh, in what condition this person will get absorbed? So let's try here. This is uh, what is this? This is one step get absorbed. Right? <coughs> and uh, what is the second probability to get absorbed? Second root, you can find this guy get absorbed. Go here, and maybe here, and then here, right? Okay. And all you go here, and then here, and then you come here, and here, and here. Or you can go here, and then here, and then continue to get absorbed. So what is the pattern here? OK. So we can go from the distance should be 1. We can go to 2. And then we go to 1. And uh, then we go to 0. Or, or we can go 1 directly to 0. right? And all we can go from 1 to 2 to 1, and then go to, so you see here, this is 1 to 2, and uh, 2 to 1, then 1 to 2, 1 to 2 again, and then 2 to 1 again, and then 2 to 0. <coughs> Or we can go from 1 to 2, 1 to 1 to 2, uh, we can go from 1 to 2, and uh, then 2 to 3, and 3 to 2 again, and then 2 to 1, 1 to 0, right? Two to three. 3 to 2, and 2, 1, and then 2, 0. And what is the pattern here? You see, this can even a uh, odd number of steps. When he got absorbed, he always take odd number of steps. Do you agree? Right? Is it one, three, or five? And you continue to, to do the do the simulation. It, it's always the case. Okay. And uh, in this case, 
if we don't use two thirds or one third, if we give a general general idea is is we give it a p and uh, to the to this side is probably p, to this side is one minus p. Okay. Now this this is absorbing state. Zero is absorbing. Once you reach zero, you never you never ex escape anymore. And here is a start. And uh, this person could be over here. You have n, n plus 1, n minus 1. You can also have p and 1 minus p. Okay. So if we, if we give, give the, this probability p, now we're going to derive <coughs> what's the probability the person will get absorbed at step uh, if he start here, it's more than one third because over here you can also have add up another probability to get absorbed, right? So we're going to derive this in the in Thursday. <coughs>